Ah, would you look at that? Plenty of our mountain tomatoes to go ahead and feed our people as we walk through the vast meandering lucky rabbit trails that our village of uphill both ways happens to be at uh, where we are clearly thriving. <laughs> So apparently we're supposed to be worrying about some kind of threat from some of these domains and honestly so far it's been a walk in the park and our villagers have even been able to go ahead and just enjoy life, coo at one another, compliment each other, and have a wonderful time gathering all sorts of fruits and berries, a little bit of the hemp that we turned into a fan that now a whisper in the wind has trained at to become a watcher. So yeah look at that we're getting some protection of the cold built up to be able to fight off whatever heat we might need to worry about with the arrival of summer and we are definitely taking care of getting the fields planted and consistently full of tomatoes which is just wonderful the only thing that may put a little bit of a damper into our lives here in the village of uphill both ways is the fact that we are going to indeed need some bunny blankets aka leather <laughs> If we are going to be able to go ahead and, um, and, well, build more huts. So, we do need to look into that, uh, sooner than later, to be completely honest. But for now, let us gather seeds. Let us go ahead and continue to build up this, uh, wood cutter's hut so that we can prepare ourselves for gathering more wood for the lovely brand new paper maker that we have just learned how to make since our druids of um you know the bunny totems lord thunder and marsh happen to be extremely insightful and already have a concept of the written alphabet unlike those people in the village of are we there you who had to sit under a tree until an owl taught them about that ah uh, well to each village their own, I suppose. Plums are much better than apples in our village after all. <laughs> but hello everyone and welcome back to where thus far it's been a pretty peaceful time. Look at this, the beauty of thriving, glorious summer days. And now we have had a vision of heat, got it. Okay, okay, it's just summer. It's gonna get a little bit hotter. But we're gonna be able to to counter that. Oh my gosh, look at the birds when they fall asleep upside down in the trees. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of when the chickens sleep on their little backs and it's the most adorable thing in the world. Oh, okay, okay. And we can still gather the plums. I just don't think they'll like refresh themselves, maybe? Or do they, no, I think the plums are actually good through, yes, and summer too. So at the beginning of the season, the plants or the trees will refresh themselves. That is very good to know. Also, Kit Kat Nat is gathering quite a bit of wood, so we can start thinking about potentially putting in that uh, scribble scriptorium so that we can go ahead and begin writing. I, 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 I kind of like the idea that our village will write letters and things and wishes for the bunnies from, to take to the nature gods on the windmill fan thing. And the like a whisper on the wind will tie it up there and then they'll fly away like little paper airplanes. And we just assume the rabbits carry them off to like the nature gods. That sounds suitably adorable and very much like something Siri would come up with. <laughs> Meanwhile, let us go ahead and we are going to plant more tomatoes. Uh, and the mountain tomatoes are doing quite well. Well, Whisper in the Wind works on... Okay, we're going to actually need to work on that a little. Gotcha. All right. Ginger Fury, we're going to have you... Okay. Okay. Hmm. Pseudo fishy, we are going to have you actually pivot for just a moment, please, my friend, because it looks like we are going to need a larger fan, perhaps. And because I want to be cautious about going ahead and taking up room that we might need in other locations, we will go ahead and maybe move this fan over here. No, that's not. Okay. Trying to think where we won't apparently block anything. <laughs> <laughs> that we might want access to. Um, I think over here might be okay. But you know what? We'll put it up here for now. But let's go ahead and build ourselves another large fan because apparently, uh, actually, it's going to be four heat a day. So we are going to need a little bit more help on that. Whisper Wind, you're doing great. Keep it up. 
<laughs> Might need to get you the huge fan in just a second here. Not gonna lie. That means we're gonna need more watchers, which means we're gonna need to train more professionals in the village, which means we're gonna need to really have a conversation about how to get more kids into the village. Ah. I'm afraid that the druids, Lord Thunder, Marsh, and I, as the Elder, might be having a very uncomfortable meeting about now, about what might need to be done. Hmm. 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 We may indeed need to collect some bunny blankets. That may indeed be something that we will have to start thinking about because it's the only thing we can use to make our tents <laughs> or upgrade our tents too. Um, ooh. Well, well, let's maybe, because what else? We can't really use the wool just yet, unfortunately. Um,. Maybe, because the thing is, if we hunt, it generates. Any time an a animal dies, our villagers do become quite distressed. And when I say distressed, I mean that they actually will generate fear when animals die. So we need to think about the cost and the fury we may incur upon the nature gods carefully. Uh, maybe the solace buffet might be a good first step because that gives us health and it gives us hope and you only need one person for it so we might go ahead and grab that for a minute because we'll have to balance out any of the fear we produce by going ahead and potentially having to gather quote unquote bunny blankets just saying um yes okay we'll start there and we may find ourselves keeping our populations quite tight just so that we don't have to kill a bunch of bunnies Oh dear. And speaking of which, it does indeed cost two tomatoes in order to bring such adorable little fluff balls into our communities. Um, ah, where should I put another one? I kind of, if we have to do it, I kind of want to get like one of the, one of the like hunting ones that can go off in the corner so maybe people don't see what's like going on over there. Um... We, we're gonna put wool here, rabbit here, uh, swap these wild rabbits out for more domesticated ones here. These are fertile fields. We don't want to waste them for when we are able to go ahead and get them some more things planted. Uh, so I don't want to like put a, can, a building there that might ruin the fertile field. We can't clear the trees out of the way just yet. That might definitely be something to look into researching because that would be very useful but it's probably further down the line and we'd need tools for that anyway. <laughs> and you know what you need to make tools? Kind of more people. And just throwing a couple pips into like a, a tiny tent with some berries and crossing your fingers isn't gonna cut it anymore. So, hmm. All right, Solace Buffet first and then we'll contemplate how to collect bunny blankets. <laughs> And until then, we won't go wrong by gathering more tomatoes and also trying to keep things a bit cool. Just saying. Maybe I should have... Actually, Marshmallow, if you gather a little bit more water, Marumelo even, sorry. Uh, that might be a good idea because if perhaps, for some odd reason, our large fans didn't keep everybody cool enough in the summer heat, or, you know, if a fire starts and pips catch on fire, <laughs> then it would be very good for us to be able to put that fire out with water. Meanwhile, we have given the pips a solace buffet, uh, which will hopefully allow them to maybe meditate a bit on the well-being and their place in nature, even if they must take from, hopefully they can give back after all. And uh, it'll also give them a little bit of extra food. So you need simple food for that though. Oh, you need simple food for that. Okay, raw food doesn't count as simple food. Okay, we need the meeting point if people are gonna be not upset at, like about this then. That's not gonna cut it when it comes to, ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, cause I missed noticing that till now. Simple food is like bread and grog, or glop, pardon me. I like the idea of calling it glop. Um, 
and that's going to be a mill, which is going to take a while to like research. So a meeting point will go for first and then we'll kind of work from the meeting point in a little bit here and see how things work out. All right, everybody doing something useful? Yes, yes. Uh, all right, and actually, Kit Nat, why don't you go ahead and gather some of these plums? Because when we do decide to go ahead and research the seed extractor, having extra fruit is going to be the thing that helps us the most, you see. Good job over there, Whisper in the Wind. Keep that up. We'll, we'll show, like, I guess, like, Hmm. The Sun Strife Gods? It's so much fun to try to think of the unique lore for each one of the villages. The meeting point. The problems in the village could be huge, but talking about them calmed everyone down. That's so cute. And we can go ahead and get uh, a boost if a dwelling building is within one. So, you know, being able to just sit and talk might be the thing that we have to have our pips do in order to be able to kind of bring themselves to a place of peace uh about this whole situation let's also go ahead and train another pip pseudo fishy you are going to be another watcher helping out where it comes from uh or helping out when it comes to keeping the village cool meanwhile maru mellow if you don't mind maybe whoops planting more tomatoes just so that we keep those constantly growing and i think we've we've circled back around to the main problem again where, ooh, oh, a peace tent if we had, <laughs> so the peace tent, if we had um, some hemp and we put it next to a hope maker, then it'll give us a lot of hope. So maybe that we could say they go in there to make an offering of peace to any of the bunnies that may have somehow mysteriously donated their bunny blankets to us. <laughs> very shortly here. Uh, ooh, and we are going to need stone for the gathering soon, so let's go ahead and put that there. Do I have any villagers? Okay. Your local girl, we're going to have to be a little bit risky biscuits when it comes to the food for just a moment, because we truly do need to make a bit of progress here and there with being able to get more resources. There's not a lot of people going around right now, uh, but hopefully we'll have enough resources to fight off whatever the nature spirits deem is the most dangerous threat we face. Or, you know, more resources so I can get back to my important, like, bread diet. Like, what am I going to do without, without the bread? <laughs> Some pips insisted that they could see the spirits of their ancestors in these tents, giving them numbers for the next festival games. <laughs> And that can actually produce a lot of hope. So we will probably try to get a set of those things built. There's also the performer's stall. It intensifies hope production. And if there's social nearby, it gets a boost. But it, we obviously do not have enough people to be able to do performances like that right now. So instead, let's we're going to research this table. Um... Okay, let's go for the hunting tent first, and then we'll kind of work from there. Because we're going to need to make sure that we have our pips, like, pip squeaking. Because at the moment, like, we're kind of we're kind of running a little low on the pip supply. <laughs> so let's see. Let's make sure we keep the food coming on in. We have got the plums coming in, but maybe we'll take a break for just a second, Kit Kat. Because we are now low on wood again. Actually, if you want to come over... Okay, actually dismantling that will wait because you get four wood this way. Excellent. Our druids are continuing to commune within their totem of wisdom. We have now made it so we could gather stones. And... Hey now. Yes! Yes! And we have unlocked some new memory beans! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am grinning from ear to ear, for once again, we have appeased the nature gods even on hard difficulty, and now we just have fields to tend to, where we're going to need farmers, actually, <laughs> so more people we need to train, but that's really good.
That's really good because we could have the peace tense so that we can make peace with any of the wild animals that may or may not um, <clears throat> need to be questioned for various things soon. So let's see, the skinning rack, which would be good at helping us to perhaps potentially just maybe find some of the, uh, yeah, some of the, the, basically the bunny blankets or what we're calling them this time because that would be really just fun. Um, also, the butcher's table could help us find some bunny blankets in larger quantity. Now, here's the thing. On the one hand, ah, having our own domesticated rabbits that we might make disappear for bunny blankets. On the other hand, we would get so many more resources every bunny that actually it is probably the kinder thing to go this route because this would only be two bunny blankets, a bunny. So every bunny that dies would only give us two leather. But if we had this one, then every bunny that dies would give us five, which is enough to like build another tent, a large tent and two small tents. Or, you know, we wait a little bit and we could build up even more. <laughs> So I think that's going to have to happen. And Dino Dave, why don't you go ahead and we'll lure a little bunny. Oh! <laughs> we'll, we'll lure a little bunny in, but we'll also contemplate how we absolutely are going to need to work on that whole peace tent thing if we really want this to like play out properly. Um, oh, the peace tent also needs some bunny blankets. So we're going to need to start with the meeting point, I think. <laughs> Okay, starting with the meeting point, and then we'll build our way up to the peace tent. I kind of think that it would be a good idea to have the meeting point here and the peace tent here, because that might be like the, the druids being able to give peace offerings. I, we'll do that. So, <sighs> all right. And we now have the hemp, and we're also piling up a lot of a chance to fight up against whatever, like, apparent threat as if uh might possibly be showing up soon um and your local girl why don't you come over here and build this meeting point just so that we can think about how grateful we are for any of the sacrifices that nature might need to make while well, i jog my memory brain beans with cows <laughs> or the jester who would be another vip but also it looks like it unlocks a building Oh man, I really want to think about cows, but what if the jester helps us out with the hope production? But cows. But hope. Maybe. Ugh, okay, we'll get this one out of the way. New VIP unlocked. The jester. The funniest of pips. He told the best jokes and made fun of the other pips. Not everyone liked the humor, but the overall results were positive. And he, too, produces hope every day. So does a cat, by the way. Would be very pleased to have the cat. Um, and then... Oh, actually, it was just him. Ah, I should have gone for the cows. Oh well. At least facing down whatever doom might be around the corner is going to help us out with jogging my memory brain beans even more. Watch, I'm going to be even even more, like, able to recall memories than my compatriot, uh, the other elder, over at the village of Are We There, you? Yep. Except we might be able to have selective memories and not question where the bunnies disappeared to. Just be like, oh, look at that. Huh, funny that. Bunny blanket. Oh, and now I remember Will has been unlocked. Unlock 50% of all the memories. Aww. On the one hand, that's good. On the other hand, it's just kind of nice to know that, like, there's more waiting for us, right? <laughs> but all right, my friends, thank you so much for joining us on these adventures. Clearly, we have so many more to go on as well. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, well, like, roll up your sleeves and give the bunnies a pat. And I'll see you in the fields next time. Bye-bye.